it's what he's suggesting is how can you be the greatest of all time if you didn't dominate in any one particular thing at any particular time? And I'm going to push back with you on the Michael Jordan comparison. He demonstrated that he was the greatest during his time as a scorer. Ten consecutive scoring titles when he played a complete se season, seven in a row before he took a year and a half off. So, And while he was doing that, he was also first team all defense and first team all NBA all of those years. So the case can be made that he made a very strong argument that for a decade, Michael Jordan was the best two-way player in the game. That is his claim to fame. And this is what I found interesting in, in sort of researching this topic, which is LeBron James is about to enter his 20th season. He has one assist title and one scoring title to his name. Those are the only two things that he has done in any one season where he dominated a particular, particular statistical category. Now, if we want to dismiss the statistics, I'm okay with that. We can just go by the eye test, or we can, do, we can go by championships won, or we can go by other measurements. But if we do that, that then eliminates all of the arguments for why LeBron James is potentially better than Michael Jordan oh. or a number of other guys. We can't pick and choose when it comes to statistics.